Let's try. <laughs> wow. I'm Alex Schaub, I'm the Fab Lab manager from the uh, Fab Lab Amsterdam and it has been established five and a half years ago and we're sitting here in the Wagen, in this beautiful building uh, which is the oldest building from the city. Amsterdam è l'ultima tappa del nostro Maker Tour e in uno degli edifici più antichi della città c'è il Vag Society che ospita uno dei primi Fab Lab d'Europa. Alex Schaub è il padrone di casa, ci mostra l'edificio e ci racconta la storia che ha reso questo posto uno degli esempi più riusciti di laboratorio di fabbricazione digitale. How you get involved for the first time in the maker movement? It's true that my background is music, but not only. I consider myself a bit uh, uomo universale because I also uh, have made an apprentice in Switzerland before as a toolmaker, which was very precise metal machining. I was working here at the Wall Society as a technician and at some point I saw these laser cutters popping up and vinyl cutters and milling machines. I thought, what is this, what is this all about? And then they told me about Fab Lab because I didn't know, I didn't have a clue. And then all of a sudden I thought, Jesus, wait a second, this is the place where I, combine, where I can combine all my knowledge I have from before. And that's how I get into it. it is, it's a nice uh, development that people are going back to be a producer instead of a consumer. I think the first goal is that, that we want to be an open space because that's something that I enjoy the most. All these people coming here and want to do stuff, solving a hundred problems a week. And it creates an, emo an enormous amount of diversity because you have architects, musicians, fashion designer, industrial designer. Do you think that uh, your movement or places like these or the DIY culture can change a little bit the unemployment problem in, uh, in Europe. I would hope that we can certainly contribute to that but if that is enough to establish more uh, economy I don't know. You know the thing is for instance if we talk about open design it's still very young and people have to get used to it to share their things but we also need to develop economic models for that because they are not here yet. To document your work is a lot of work. And the thing is, it's not in our heads. I see it on myself that if I really are making something, the last thing is that I think about, wait a second, this is a good moment. I have to stop now and make a photograph. We have to learn how to make stuff and to document simultaneously. <laughs> 